April 19th, dynamite thrown from a passing car at 5.30 in the morning destroyed the home of Z. Alexander Luby, one of Nashville's black city councilmen and defense attorney for the arrested students. The blast was so powerful it shattered 147 windows in Meharry Medical College across the street. Miraculously, no one was killed. It was such an outrageous act that it would that it would it could be very useful to a nonviolent movement then to move. Okay, it was a uniting of the city, but the outcome would be decided by how we in fact channel that energy, right? And we then had the first major march of the movement. People began to gather, and we began to march, and students came out from the lunchrooms, and they came out from being on, on the campus grounds, and they joined, and they came out of buildings and dormitories. We filled Jefferson Avenue. It's a long, long way down Jefferson. After a while, there was a certain bit of singing, and as we came closer to town, it was merely the silence of the feet. One of the things that stood out in my mind was we walked by a place where there were workers out for the noon hour, white workers, and they had never seen anything like this. And here was uh, all of 4,000 people marching down the street, and all you could hear was their feet as we silently moved. And, the, and they didn't know what to do, and they moved back up against the wall, and they simply stood uh, against the wall just looking. Uh, there was a fear there. Uh, there was an awe. Uh, there, uh, and they did not know what to do, but they knew that this was not to be stopped, this was not to be played with or to be joked with. Face to face on the steps of City Hall, Reverend C.T. Vivian condemned the mayor for his failure to speak out in the past. Diane Nash pushed Ben West to take a personal stand. They asked me some pretty soul-searching questions. And one that was addressed to me as a man, and I tried the be as best I could to answer it, frankly and honestly, that I could not agree that it was morally right for someone to sell them merchandise and refuse them service. And I had to answer it just exactly that way. When it first started, uh, uh, I, I thought, you know, I, unexpected, and I didn't think much about it, and I was busy one thing the other. The closer we've gotten to it, uh, the more exciting it has become. The more you look forward to it, the more you begin to understand the kinds of things that could come as a result of this, right? That you can do some good that you wouldn't, it wouldn't be able to do otherwise. How it fits into your life's work. You see what I mean? Is that everything that I have done and wanted to do, I created Upward Bound, right? Is that, uh, and just because a lot of kids got kicked out of school uh, because of racism, right? And uh, I kept trying to figure how we're going to make those young people uh, uh, leadership for a new South. And that's, I was with Dr. Martin Luther King, right? So what we were doing was creating a new South, huh? Uh, uh, as a part of a whole new concept of our participation in the nation, right? And uh, uh, so that when you see people who are thinking like that uh, for a lifetime, uh, how important it is, is that uh, uh, you know that it opens doors and that people take you seriously, more seriously than they did before. It sounds so pat when you say it. But uh, 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 where are your values? Uh, hold on to them, right? Go with it. Uh, there's going to be a number of things you want to do. Some of them will make you far more money. Uh, but is that what you want to do? Uh, uh, some of them you want to do, but you won't be able to do. Uh, because you just don't have it, right? <laughs> and then, so do what you can do and do it well. But always ask your question, hey, is it serving people? Now, the point being is you don't have to worry about asking yourself that truthfully because uh, you know whether you want to uh, 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 help folk or not, right? 
And to me, that's the number one thing. If, if you're not changing things for the benefit of the greater society, right, then you're not about much anyway, right? Uh, at the level we're talking, uh, if, you, if it's the level for your survival, that's another thing, right? But if you're really free enough and open enough and have opportunities enough, uh, uh, always think about the good it's going to do for other people. Because you've already been honored, right? I don't mean by medals. You've already been honored by being in a position to help somebody, right? And if, but if you don't get upset at seeing people hurt, suffer, put in bad situations, uh, put in situations they're never going to get out of for the wrong reasons, if that doesn't really make you a little angry, really, all uh, right? Uh, angry enough to do something about it, uh, then you wouldn't think about it anyway.